How we doing ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of like made easy and today guys i'm going to be checking out a cyber power pc um so you guys uh told me that you want to see more desktop pc builds um so in this video i'm going to be going over a cyber power pc that's listed on amazon now do i recommend you buy pcs off amazon for the most part no i think you should custom make your pc whether that's choose the parts specifically on a custom build website like exoticpc.com or my pc part picker that website or whatever you can choose compatible parts now here today we have cyber power pc now i'm a little ashamed of this computer i'm not gonna lie because i've seen this computer go out listed on amazon for a long time now this thing used to be listed i think at 800 dollars uh, maybe even went on sale well, under under eight hundred dollars, maybe like seven fifty sometimes, and this is this is a shame. This is honestly this is price gouging at its finest right here. Um, because with the pandemic, everyone is going to be ordering computer accessories and stuff like that since they're all at home. So Cyber Power PC went out and decided we're going to price gouge a little. I don't know if this is them specifically, or it's Amazon, or it's just the lack of demand. They had prices, um, but usually when demand uh drop you should lower prices this doesn't make any sense i don't know maybe there's an increased demand for cyber power pcs or gaming pcs right now i'm not sure but this is kind of disappointing in my opinion and you can definitely 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 get better components for way cheaper this is going for one thousand fifteen hundred dollars basically one thousand one hundred forty nine ninety nine absolute ripoff don't get this wait for this to drop in price I would pay $750 for this max. Um, so if we're just going over key specs here, it's so lackluster in my opinion, guys. I'm sorry, but wait for this to go down if you want to pre-build or go choose your own parts. Do not buy this computer. This is an absolute ripoff at this point. Cyber Power PC, I do like the company. They make good budget PCs. I don't like it when you price gouge people like this. We have a GTX 1660, not the TI version. The low lesser performance, six gigabytes of uh, graphic RAM or video RAM. It's a good graphics card. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a great graphics card, but it's not the latest and greatest. Um, I would like to see at least a 1616 Ti in this, or maybe in the, the, the new 2000 series for graphics cards, if you know what I mean. With eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, that's disappointing. You should have at least 1632 at this price point, and. It should be dual channel memory, um, at least. Actually, I'm not sure. Are all gaming desktops dual channel? I'm not too sure. I don't know if all motherboards are like that in full gaming PCs, but so we do have an SSD, but it's only 120 gigabyte, which is tiny. You're not going to be able to put too many files on that. We do have a tar terabyte hard, dr hard drive. I can't speak in this video, um, which is cool. But if you're going to give me a hard drive in a computer, you better be at least giving me two terabytes. At fifteen hundred dollars. I'm sorry, not fifteen hundred dollars. One thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry, scratch that. If I said fifteen hundred dollars early in this video, I apologize. With an Intel Core i5, disappointing. You should be giving me an i7 at this price point. It is the ninth gen series, which is nice, but it's only two point nine gigahertz. Um, I'd expect something over three gigahertz at this price. Uh, Windows ten. We have an HDMI display port. Let's say six USBs, six USB threes. That's pretty sick. Uh, two US. Okay, so we have plenty of plenty of I/O. I mean, I don't doubt it. Uh, does it have a picture? Okay, so here's the front of it. That looks like a return or reset button. Separate mic and audio jacks. Power USB 3.0s. Can I see what's on the back? That's what it looks like on the interior. Uh, cable management looks pretty good. Here, are just some... Oh, looks like someone subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Um, here are some of the specs just for games you can run. It's not bad. I mean, these are pretty good FPS values. Black Ops 4 at 1440p you can hit 60 frames per second. That's pretty solid. But is it worth $1,150? No. Honestly, this one right here looks like a way better model. I don't know why you wouldn't just buy this one. You're getting 240 gigabyte SSD and a terabyte hard drive on this one, and it's less money. 
I don't know why they're listing this, to be honest. Um, if we go to pro more product details, you can compare it with other devices. I would highly recommend something like by SkyTech here. That's a much better deal. Um, and that's got 4.5. It's got 4.6. They really increased the price on this one. I'm not happy about it. Um, dimensions, if you care about it. Six core processor. That's good. Uh, screen size. What? AO2.11 Wi Fi, good. 27 pounds, pretty heavy. I'm not, I'm actually not too sure. I've never lived in too many gaming PCs of my day. But, um, 7200 RPM, that's trash. And at least it's DDR4 RAM. So, guys, to sum up this video, I don't, I love Cyber Power PC. I think they're a great budget gaming, uh, gaming PC company. I don't doubt that, believe that. However, this price does not accurately reflect, reflect the value of this PC. Go to exoticpc.com, go pick out your own custom parts, because these parts are not this expensive. Trust me, um, you can get these parts way cheaper. Eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM is pennies, pennies, and you should not be paying 1,100. So without further ado, guys, that's gonna be for this video hope you all enjoyed smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell make sure to leave a like on this video guys and if you haven't already check out the college made easy podcast where we help students succeed to the best of our ability um, by sharing real practical tips and real world experience from real college students man that's all mouthful so uh that's linked in the description if you guys want to go check that out we're uploading a new podcast today at 3 p.m eastern standard time so don't miss it. it's premiering uh, we upload every Wednesday and Friday if you're interested in that. So I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video from Life Made Easy. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and recommend any PCs you want me to check out. Peace out, guys.